Hi, today we're going to talk about learning and troubleshooting eye tracking in Talon Voice. The first step is managing expectations. I see a lot of people that get an eye tracker and are disappointed that it doesn't give them the performance they wish they had, the performance they had with the mouse. But you've been using a mouse your entire life, you've been using an eye tracker for five minutes, so managing the expectation that this is like learning to walk all over again is quite important. You are going to get there, but it's going to take time. The expected performance you will get with an eye tracker in Talon is basically using gaze, i.e. your eyes. You can get about 5 to 10 characters precision. That's enough to give you uh, words, uh, but definitely lines, paragraphs, functions, stuff like that. And then there's head tracking, which will give you single character precision. And you need to combine both. If So the gaze tracking gives you speed and reach. You can go across the screen quickly. And the, the head tracking gives you the precision to be able to place your cursor between characters and so on. There's also some limitations. So the Toby eye tracker is good up to 24 to 27 inch screen. Personally, I have a 32 inch and it's definitely losing tracking positions in the, in the upper region and especially the upper corners is quite bad. Uh, so maybe 27 inch is a good uh, limit to try to stay uh, on. Uh, it also only works today on your operating system's primary monitor. So you need to have the screen that has the eye tracker attached as your primary monitor. Okay, uh, on to setup. So there's two different mounts. There is the flat mount that goes in front of your screen and that is what I recommend and what Toby recommends. And there's also the flex mount you can put beneath and that is for curved monitors. So you should only use that if you have a curved monitor and can't use the flat mount. Uh, when it comes to drivers, uh, the eye tracker needs to be connected to a Windows machine initially, so the firmware can update. After that, you can move it to a Linux or Mac computer, no problem. Uh, if you stay on Windows, there are three Toby services that installs automatically that you need to permanently disable, because if those services are running, Talon is blocked from using the eye tracker. The final step of um, the setup is calibrating the eye tracker in Talon. And I would definitely recommend doing that with control mouse turned off, because if you have an eye uh, tracker turned on, uh, or the, the control mouse turned on, the cursor is continuously moving while you're trying to look at the green dots, and that is just confusing. So turn on calibration without control mouse, look at the green dots. I only do that with gaze. So I don't move my head at all. I just stare straight ahead with uh, my head fixed and then just use my eyes to look at the green dots. Um, and that has worked quite well for me. Uh, so common problems people have. Jittery cursor, that's the main one. Our eyes don't stay fixed. They move around all over the place, look at things. As soon as something is moving or is, you know, uh, brightly lit or whatever, our focus goes there immediately. Uh, so you're just going to have to live with that gaze is a bit jittery and rely on head tracking. When you start uh, doing head tracking, the gaze tracking disables or like becomes inactive uh, temporary. So that means that you look somewhere with your eyes, you move your head, your eyes should now not affect the cursor anymore and you can do fine calibrations. There is of course a need to re-engage gaze tracking. So if you look too far away from where you are, your current uh, position is, gaze tracking will re-engage. And this is a problem people have. They start to do head tracking and then their eyes wander and then you know the cursor just moves away. So when you try to get that single character precision, it's quite important to focus your gaze and not blink too much. I like to think of it as like a marksman. You know, you need to have your eye on the targets. Uh, so if you just want to click something larger, like you know, a paragraph or a split screen, a separate window, you don't even need head tracking. Just look somewhere in the approximate region and click. But if you need single character precision, you kind of need to get over that in lazy instinct of looking all over the place. You need to be a bit more focused. And that is something that it sounds really, really hard to do in the beginning, but it becomes second nature once you've done it for a while. So 
Gaze is fast, but it's a bit jittery. It has low precision. Head tracking is very precise, but not as fast. So you combine those two. And to get the really high precision, you need to try to focus on the target because if you look away, the head tracking uh, b basically disengages and you are back to gaze. Uh, if you have problems, even with these um, you know, uh, tips I've given you, try different distance from the eye tracker to, uh, from you to the eye tracker, from you to the screen. So uh, I'm about half a meter away or so from the eye tracker. I I can go a bit closer and a bit farther away and it's fine. But if you're really, really close, really, really far away, it will become problematic. Also, lighting is important. And I would say that a well-lit room is an improvement. You don't want to be in total darkness, but you can also have problems where light is coming from weird angles. So maybe like, you know, curtains or moving a lamp and stuff like that can help. Uh, you just have to experiment. And I just want to round this off with an actual demo of uh, gaze tracking and head tracking. So we're going to start off with just gaze tracking, you know, just my eyes. And I'm going to try to put the cursor on each word. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to manage that without head tracking, but I'm going to try. And then we're going to go over to just using or like adding head tracking to that. And I'm going to try to get single character. So this is guy, gaze only. You see, uh, sometimes I kind of have to look away and look back. And of course, if you just off by one line, you totally miss the word. So I would say that you know, five to ten characters, you know, both horizontally and vertically is something you can expect from gaze only. So you will definitely get in the vicinity, you know, like a word or so away from where you want to be. And then head tracking. Well, that is basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment. Uh, you know, give me a message on Slack. And uh, hopefully I will release more videos on this topic in the future. Take care. Stop recording.